Hi, my name is Ninka. I study nutritional health at the University of Roehampton and I'm a first year student. Today we're going to chat about ways to use persuasive public speaking during your online time, whether that would be online interviews, online studying or presentations. Me personally, I have used persuasive public speaking when uh, speaking about, for example, group projects, um, presenting the outcomes of them in front of the whole class, or maybe outcomes of the work done in breakout rooms. So that's when I had to be persuasive. My top tip that I'm going to give you uh, for being persuasive when you're public speaking is to use repetition of your key points. Very important thing will be not saying the same sentence over and over again, but rather referencing it at a different point throughout your speech if you think that this is a really important information. By using repetition, it's very clear what points exactly you want to get out there. And also, if someone hears it something more than once, it's more likely they will remember it. You will often see famous public speakers using the rule of three, which is where they would say three similar phrases together or three different parts of the same point, one after the other, we can use that too. I'm going to show you my attempt at using examples. If I were to answer a question during the online interview, you may also experience online interviews during your online time at the moment, whether that would be interviews for a virtual job or virtual interview for your studies. Um, repetition can really help. I'll have 30 seconds to answer a question um, that might come up during an online interview and that will be me being asked uh, where I see myself in five years time. In five years time I see myself walking in the clinic, gaining experience and walking towards my lifelong goal of opening up my own retreat centre for people with different medical issues such as diabetes, eating disorders, heart disease and many many more. So I would really love to do that uh, in order to help people lead a happy and healthy life as a result. Now that you have seen my example, I would like to set you up for a 30 second challenge where you'll have to start thinking about um, the same thing that I've done just now, but imagine an interviewer asking you a question, what is your two biggest strengths? Remember that you want your interviewer to remember top things that you're saying. So pick those out before you start talking and try to think of several places where you would emphasize these points. Now this top tip has helped you and now you will feel more confident during your virtual interviews and your online learning.